People continue to practice safe social distancing. The isolation of remaining at home has driven some to seek escape. A recent research shows that last month alone, 60% of those under the age of 18 used some sort of illicit substance. Here today to talk to us about what parents can do uh, and talk about with these young people is Carlos Briano, the public information officer for the DEA El Paso division. And that's an alarming statistic, Carlos. Yes, Susie, unfortunately it is. It's a disturbing statistic that came out from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. That's why DEA every year commemorates Red Ribbon Week. We just celebrated it last week. We want students to choose at a very early age to live drug-free lifestyles before they enter into these difficult addictions, but that's going to require understanding uh, the impacts of drug misuse, so parents need to be involved. And how can parents be involved? How can they talk to their children about drug use? And what if they aren't sure kind of how to go about it? Can the DEA help them, give them some tips? Yes, of course. Uh, for the past four years, Susie, we've partnered with uh, Discovery Education called Operation Prevention. It's completely free to parents. It's completely digital. It's full of that focus on all types of drugs. Uh, you're going to find talking points on stimulants, depressants, inhalants, hallucinogens, steroids, opioids, and of course marijuana. Uh, but most importantly, there's a toolkit there for parents that's going to help guide them with different strategies on how to have these difficult but very important talks. Very difficult talks. Now, that's really helpful information. Where can parents find these curriculums and the toolkit? Yes, yeah, Susie, you can find the curriculum along with videos and the very important parent toolkit at operationprevention.com. Uh, we're all obviously going to have resources for parents of high school and middle age students, but we also have resources for parents of children as young as third grade because we have seen unfortunately that children that young are being introduced to drugs at a very early age. Wow, that's so sad, but I mean, obviously a conversation that needs to get started early. Thank you so much, Carlos, for uh, telling us about these resources. Thank you, Susie. We'll be right back after this.